The future of Facebook isn't what it seems like. I did a lot of research and it was actually quite shocking what I discovered. So stay tuned for the future of Facebook. So Facebook registered two patents about certain stuff and I'll jump into it in a minute. You're watching The Entrepreneur and this channel is all about making money with social media and growing your following with social media. So if that's something you're into, intro, intro? So if that's something you're into and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do it. So the first patent that Facebook brought out is called Emotion Recognition Technology. And what this means is they've built an AI system that can recognize certain emotions through camera or certain actions. So Facebook actually sees you sitting behind your desktop or your laptop or your phone or whatever and they can recognize certain emotions in your face. On one side this is a good thing because now you get shown content that makes you happy or if you're sad there's gonna be some puppy videos to make you happy which is really good but on the other hand it has a business side and now advertisers can see what emotion you have and then target ads on those emotions so you kind of get like manipulated to buy certain products we already are but even more now so it's a big technology and they just registered the patent so it's going there in the future and then you might think and it's been a lot in the media as well that hurts my privacy where's my privacy exactly but they still can make it because Imagine a world without Facebook and Instagram. Can you imagine it? What platforms will there be? What social things would we do? A lot of people cannot imagine it and they still use it even though Facebook is interrupting certain privacy standards. So they're in a great position. But besides this first patent that can recognize emotion based on video, there's a second patent and it might even be scarier. And this patent is called, and I quote, Broadcast content view analysis based on ambient audio recording. It sounds really vague, but what it really means is every time you see an ad, the. Ooh, I'm dropping my book. What this basically means is that every time when you scroll through an ad and you're watching the ad, now there will be a secret message sent to your device where you're watching the add-on. So it can be mobile or laptop or desktop. And then that device will know to record your audio. All right, so let's back that up. If you scroll down an advertisement, that advertisement will send out certain signals to your device where you're watching the add-on. And then your device will record your audio. And that audio will be sent back to Facebook, the database, and they will know certain emotions as well, what you have, or your reaction on certain ads. Maybe it's a funny ad and you're, you started laughing. That will be sent to the database and therefore advertisers know how to target better as well. So there's actually two things that you can consider here. The first thing is that companies can now manipulate you to buy certain products based on your behavior and your emotions. It's not necessarily a bad thing because now you only buy stuff that's really fitted with you. With, with you. But on the other hand, if you look a bit further, it can also be used to manipulate certain decisions you make. Not only for products, but maybe for voting for a new president. It's really scary because what this does is it lets us think that we have a democracy, but actually it's a dictatorship because these tools know how to manipulate you. So it's extremely scary. And by knowing this, you know who has the power in the world. Who has the power? The people who can manipulate certain decisions. So the people who have power are social media channels such as Google. But Facebook is the biggest social media network out there. So who has the most power in the world? All right. So people who would think that social media is a temporary thing and Facebook is likely to die, 
this is not the case it's going to build the foundation of our future and the social media channels will have the most power in the world so this is really scary news because actually what it says is that the future is going to let us think that we have a democracy but actually we're being manipulated because all these social media networks know what we think know what our emotions are and know how to manipulate it it's really scary but it's not going to be avoided i mean people are not just gonna stop using social media so what's the best thing to do it's to step into this social media game and take advantage of it try to build something out of social media because it's going to be the future if you still think that social media is going to be temporarily you're a freaking idiot because the most powerful tools on the planet are social media so facebook is not going anywhere so now that we know that where are the updates going well as i discussed earlier and i keep on saying this mark zuckerberg is focusing on video and now i can understand the reason a bit more because what's the best way to recognize certain emotions or how people think the easiest way is by video i mean it's a lot harder to just base some emotion on the google search words people search for or on what content they click no it's way better to actually watch their eyes and their expressions to recognize this so why is mark zuckerberg focusing on video for this reason he needs more data he needs more information so he can attract more advertisers and make more money and have more power so examples of this is that facebook has announced they're going to create portal and portal plus what this actually is it's just a device that stands in your home and you can easily video chat with all your friends and family while doing your daily life well this sounds amazing and the technology is amazing but then again facebook will know what your certain needs are what your emotions are what your day looks like so it's freakishly scary and the scariest thing is people are going to buy it because they think oh that's amazing i could just talk to anyone i want and uh, i have friends in america and i have friends in europe i can just talk to them so people are going to buy it and that's scary because mark zuckerberg is going to have more manipulation power and can sell that information to more people so besides that what's another good way to see certain emotions with people yet again video and stories in particular if you have stories and you keep posting stories about how your day looks like that information will all be brought to facebook and they know what your day looks like so that's the whole reason that they focus on stories so in the future facebook is going to focus on video and also they're going to optimize add structures more so that it will attract the business side because as we all know facebook is the biggest platform in terms of users they have 2.2 monthly active users which is a lot that's amazing so with that base you don't really need new users on the platform what do you need you need money businesses who want to advertise on the platform so he's really focusing on building that advertising structure with the emotions and the audio listening so that he can attract businesses and make more money so that's the whole explanation of the future of facebook and also instagram because it's owned by mark zuckerberg and probably every social media network out there it's going to be the future it's scary as hell it's going to completely blow away our privacy but then on the other side what can we do about it i mean we're not gonna get everyone to quit so it's really interesting and my opinion about that is just make use of it if it's going to be the higher power then it's most likely that almost everyone in the world will start using social media and if you're able to make money out of social media you are golden and you were one of those people who started early so be sure to jump on whatever platform that suits you if you want to find out what platform suits you i made a video here but for now that's the end of this video about the future of facebook it's quite shocking information at least i find it quite shocking but then again it gives me a lot of knowledge about the structure of social media and where it's going to which helps me a lot with the content i have to create so you made it to the end of this video so what are you doing make sure to hit that like button because it will really boost my video view rate and then again if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to do it because not only will you support me and it makes me extremely happy but then again 
then again, then again, then again, then again, then again. But on the other hand, it will really help you build your social media network and make money out of it and grow your following. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.